So earlier this week, I was scrolling through UI designs and I found this pretty cool day night toggle on Dribbble. The ability to toggle between a dark and light mode is something that's pretty common in apps nowadays. So I wanted to see if we could recreate this with Vue using CSS transitions. So the first step is actually designing this SVG in Sketch. I won't be going through the full design process and the link to the finished SVG is down below. But from a high level, there's four main parts. There's this main circle that will be both the moon and the sun. There's these moon highlights that kind of just add some extra detail. And then there's the clouds and the stars. They'll render depending on which state we're in. So from Sketch or any SVG app you're using, we can export this. And then let's copy the SVG code itself into a component called dark mode toggle.view. And now that we're here, let's set up some simple state that allows us to switch between the dark mode and the light mode. So inside of our script, let's import ref and create a const dark and set it equal to true by default. Then we'll create a method called toggle dark. And inside we can just toggle the value of dark.value. To make the value of dark actually impact our SVG, we can dynamically bind a class called dark and only apply it when dark is true. And to call toggle dark, we'll listen to the click event. And for the purpose of this video, that's all the template and script code that we're going to be dealing with. The rest is going to be inside of our styles. The first thing we want to do is change the background of our toggle when we're not in dark mode. So we can use the selector SVG colon not dark, target our background element, and set the fill to a nice blue color. And now if we click our button, we'll see that the background switches between our gray and our blue colors. But of course, we want this to smoothly transition, so let's set that up. We'll target our background, our stars, our clouds, and our main circle, and give them all a transition of 0.3 seconds. Next, we can actually move our circle depending on which mode we're in. And one thing we want to recognize here is that our default SVG will be the base state of our styles. So we only need to set the styles of our light mode since our dark mode for the most part is already configured. So to transition our moon into our sun, we're gonna use its transform. First, we wanna make sure that we're in the light mode by selecting SVG, not dark. And then we can target our main circle, move it over using a transform and set the fill to yellow. And we also want the moon accents to slide with our circle, but also fade away because we don't want them on our sun. But if we go up to our SVG, we'll see that our moon accent group already has a default transform. So we're gonna to have to take this into account when performing our CSS transition. So let's once again, make sure we're in light mode target our moon accents, and this time instead of saying translate x 100 pixels, we want to set our translate to 121 pixels in the x and 19 pixels in the y to account for the initial transform inside of our SVG. And we can set the opacity to zero to make sure that there's no accents on our sun. So now if we click, our moon will turn into a sun and our background will transition colors. And the final step is we want to show only the stars or only the clouds depending on the state. And we want a very small slide effect to give the effect that there's most motion in the app and that this toggle is more responsive. So first, let's start off with our stars. When we're not in dark mode, we want our stars to have an opacity of zero, meaning that they're not visible. And once again, if we look at the initial transform of the stars, we'll see that it's 89 on the X and 18 in the Y. And since we want our stars to fade in from left to right, all we need to do is make our X value lower than 89. So we can set our transform to translate and then set our X to 69 pixels and our Y to 18 so that we only have movement on the X axis. Axis. And we can do something similar with the clouds. Once again, if we take a look, we'll see that our initial X position is translated by 24 pixels. And since we want this to slide in from right to left, we want our original X position of our transition to be greater than this. So when it's a dark mode, meaning that it's not light, we want our clouds to have an opacity of zero and a translation of 54 pixels in the X and 17 in the Y. So this means that this will be the initial starting point. And then when we transition to our light mode, our clouds will fade in and move from this position to the position specified inside of our SVG. From here, you can change the width and height of the SVG as a whole, and all of the transitions will still work the same. And in this video, I won't cover exactly how to add a dark mode to your app, but if you're using Tailwind, for example, there's great documentation, and it's as easy as using a dark modifier inside of your Tailwind classes. And this is actually a similar system to what I use on learnview.code to create the dark mode there. But if you're interested in a full dark mode tutorial, let me know in the comments down below, because that's definitely something that I I find interesting when working with front end apps. But as always, leave any questions you have in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, leave a like and please consider subscribing to the channel for more free view content. And I'll see you in the next one.